So these days, there are lots and lots of different types of filler. Filler used to be um, a bottle of resin, a bag of talc, and then some catalyst as well. And you mixed it up like porridge, it had set like concrete, and you'd have to file it before it set fully to start getting your shape in it and everything. Well, those days have gone. Modern technologies come up with a new recipe for it. It includes something called silicates. They're like hollow spheres, almost like ping pong balls, if you will, that are inside the filler and they make it easy to sand. They lighten it as well, because if you think a piece of talc is a solid piece, whereas these have air inside. So it's easier to sand and lighter weight. So there's a whole, whole raft of different ones that you can go for. The two that we're mainly gonna look at today are this one, which is a fiberglass filler. That you can go over the top of a uh, not completely welded joint, so there's a gap in the joint, or if you must, go over some holes, because what that is, that won't take on any water. The normal body filler that we'd use, because of the talcum powder in it, it is talc, so it will absorb water. If the water's next to your bare metal, it'll start rot rotting and rust, and then you'll get adhesion problems with your filler. So this is the filler we're gonna use. It's just normal, lightweight body filler for use on all the different dints and bumps on your car.